Hey guys, what's up? This is Panther Dragon. Today we're gonna to be showing you a video on how to essentially abuse the new jungle changes for patch 10.8. As I've been, you know, playing a few games, seeing how it goes, and learning the essentially new jungle. It's not really new, but they change a lot of mechanics throughout it, um, such as Fano, jungle buffs, and quote cool item changes. One for all, okay, one for all, whatever, who cares? Death changes, etc. Um, so what we're gonna be showing is the patch notes to show you guys what the changes are and how you can honestly abuse these changes for your favor. With that being said, I will show you them right now. All right, so first off, this is so somewhat important, but not really. Funnel mechanics. This is obviously targeted at Master Yi. Attempts to whatever they want to they want to kill Funnel. I, I wasn't going to read this all, but anyways. Unique Monster Hunter Minion Gold Penalty Trigger. Gold earned from minions kills is greater than 40% of your gold earned from monsters. So essentially, if you're getting more minion gold, it's going to cap you. I've seen myself get one gold per minion, and I was like, wow, that sucks. So at that point, it's just not even worth trying to CS them. It's just like you just catch XP. That's all it is. With that being said, this is removed at 20, so this is like obviously like pointed towards Tarek and Master Yi. Alright, so our first change is you get home guards and when you die, that's cool. Uh, so you're punished less when you die in lane, etc. But now they're uh, doing something essentially for solo kills and assisted kills. They're granting 20% more experience if you solo kill someone and you get 20% less experience if you get assisted kills. At levels 7 to 8, these numbers are reduced to 10. So levels 1 to 6, if you're ganking someone, you will get 20% less experience if that gank goes well, which means ganking isn't as powerful anymore. Let's say you're a level 2 Lee Sin ganking a level 5 Orn or something and it pulls off, right? Finally, you're back to level 4 and that part, that version where you're just essentially spam ganking, not doing your camps, and just relying solely based on getting experience from just killing people rapidly has been nerfed. So at least spam ganking, it's not as effective. Like you can't be eight camps. So what they want to emphasize for you guys is to do jungle camps. And this is where this is gonna be coming in. So this is kind of big and you guys should look at this. Um, so at levels nine plus, they like, they've been buffing the XP jungle for a while. And if you guys remember, the cap timers spawn more frequently in season 10 than they did in season nine. And now you're getting 1.35 XP more. It's still a little small, but because this has come in where you can't spam gank, farming camps is honestly kind of shifting more to farming camps. Cause if you can do your camps and then gank, it's really efficient now since, you know, spam ganking doesn't work as well, especially in the early game. I just had this one game where I was level 14 and everyone was level 12, although I did have 200 CS, of course, but I wanna show you guys like what happened in this game because it's pretty interesting that I got level 14 above all my laners and I'm gonna be showing you guys essentially how to abuse just power farming, leveling, and all that good stuff. Also ignore the monster hunter changes. They're only good if you can't kite camps and usually if you're good at cutting camps, you don't need this buff. And yeah, in the jungle, you want to be healthy because if you get invaded on, you can't fight them. So yeah, don't be low hit point and don't get baited by this buff. With that being said, I'm going to show you guys a replay of how to essentially abuse this and get level 14 uh, at 19 minutes and two levels above everyone in this game. With that being said, let's get started. All right, everybody. So obviously I didn't, I didn't record this game on stream. I was just bored trying some stuff out you know 10.8 patch changes i want to try it out um let's go over everything why do i put this word honestly if you put this word here you got these three bimbos that's not a bad word right i don't know and they have a sweeper if three of them are here they take it this guy gets level two and this guy gets level two first wave usually you get level two i think after seven minions i'm not too sure but yeah, first wave can say a lot because it means they can't contest the first wave, obviously, right? Um, with that being said, I put this ward here. Hopefully they don't sweep it and they don't. If they see me put a ward here, one of them can actually just take a sweeper or sorry, just buy a trinket, swap the trinket and then yeah, it's easy level two for anyone. With that being said, I'm going to be showing you how to do Karthus clear and essentially what happens and how I get so, so far ahead. So, Tank this a little. I had the greatest leech ever. I had a Kogma W on a blue buff. Who has negative 15 magic resist right here? I'm just casting Qs. You don't have to use your E. I'm saving it a little bit. So you, what you do on Karthus is you do Q, two Qs and then you weave one auto after the two Qs. That's the basic pattern you do with Karthus. 
because your auto reset animation is super weird. It's two Q's and then an auto. I, I saw a Korean jungler do this on Karthus. Um, here, obviously, you kind of want to kite around the chickens. Um, and you don't really want to auto unless you kill all of them. But yeah. I think I cut this badly. Oh no, I do. I think I was scared for an invade. That's what I was. That's why I kind of cut it away. But finally, I cut away. I took a little auto attack for no reason. But yeah, I smite that because I don't want to auto it anymore. And I'm just doing magic damage to it. Red buff, if you guys look like... Well, I can't show it right now, but you'll see. In game, red buff has like 30 MR. So if you're playing a magic damage dealer, jungler you should probably smite that and if you're playing you know an ad champion and you're doing blue buff you guys might blue buff in my opinion i forgot how much uh gromp has but let's see let's see right here go away minus 15 mr so magic diamond is good i didn't know gromp had minus 15 mr though okay that's interesting you don't actually have to smite gromp if you uh you do magic damage with that being said, um, my top lane killed the top laner by himself. I'm just sweeping around just to see if there's any wards, you know, if anyone wants to come. I'm going to get this crab. I do have top pile. This guy literally just runs by me. I didn't care. And this guy is pinging for assistance. I'm I'm a level ahead. I don't care. We can fight this. I have a Talon mid. This guy's exhaust. And yeah, if he wants to contest me, I'll fight him. But right here, you can see he goes on me, and instead of going on him, he's already gone. He's already used his burst, he's already called, you know, called it off. So we go on Lucian, we get a nice chunk on him. And we get his exhaust. I'm chunking as much, we can definitely not kill him. I'm not using my summoners, and that's fine. Right here, the thing is, if you want to go for the second crab, and you chunk the hell of their mid laner, and the jungler doesn't want to fight you anymore, just push in mid wave, it doesn't matter if your mid laner spam pings you, get out of my lane, get out of my lane, it does not matter. If you want to be... <laughs> if he wants to freeze this wave under here, right by his tower, you cannot go for this crab. I mean, honestly, Lucian is pretty chunked, because I did that to him, but if he wasn't chunked, Guess what? That's not your crab anymore. Your mid laner is being selfish. And yeah, you don't know where the bot lane is. So, you know, have to push this in. So your mid laner fights the crab with you if there is a fight that breaks out. That's why Tarzan does this. And that's why I started doing it. Because Tarzan wants prior always so he can do whatever the hell he wants. I actually don't know where the bot lane is. I guess they reset, right? So... Yeah, we don't know where they are. They could have just, you know, pushed in and then maybe roamed to the crab. I, I wouldn't care, but it seems like we know where they are. And yeah, we get two crabs on the Nunu and we're up. We're double his CS essentially, because we two crabbed him while he's trying to find some ganks and he couldn't find anything. So now he's stuck farming at level two, or sorry, at level three. His XP is halfway. I'm already, I'm already, well, I'm level five. <laughs> And then, guess what? My camp already spawned after doing the two crabs. I finally have my Gromp up, my Wolves, my Raids, and then my Gomes is eventually going to be up. So watch this. You guys are going to be like, what the hell? My bot lane gets gay. This happens, man. Happens. Whatever. This is none of my concern. His wave is in a really bad spot. He couldn't push it fast enough. There's nothing I can do. If Morgana was there, would they live? Probably not. It doesn't matter. I'm now doing my camps. Uh, I kind of screwed this up a little. I could have maybe like isolated it, but yeah, it's fine. Auto it. I need some mana to do the chickens, and these chickens are actually going to hurt because now these are going to be level five chickens. So I can do this kind of a uh, a little better. But you can see I'm kind of low on mana, and this is going to be way harder. <laughs> it's going to be way harder because I have really no mana, so I have to be conservative about it and hitting keys, and I cannot use my E once. Since your E costs 30 mana per second, but your Q costs 32 mana, and you're maxing it out. So that's why you should never use E if you have no buff, no blue buff. And right here, I just hit level 6, because I pushed, I think, 4 minions mid? I think it was like 4, I don't know how much I catched. But I got 2 crabs and a full clear, and I'm finding level 6. I'm double the Nunu CS. He may have gotten a gank bot, but guess what? He's still level 4. Assisted kills mean nothing if they don't grant you xp and they just grab you some gold 
You're gonna play off level advantages. And now this Nunu is nothing to me. Let's look at his level right now. Oh, he's Genki bot. He's still halfway. I'm level six and I'm like the same amount of XP. I'm double levels up on him. And he's trying to gank a Morgana lane. And guess what, baby? I have Stalker's Blade and Fiendish Codex. I'm almost double as CS, almost. With that being said, I just did this camp, this camp, this camp, this camp. So my next step is to go around my Gromp that's going to be spawning. Um, this guy is literally trying to gank my bot lane who, you know, the Morg has a black shield. Nothing really happens. And yeah, honestly, they could probably siege on him. Maybe they killed him, burn something. If the Cosmo was more confident. And here, since I have nothing really to do, uh, my bot lane is kind of... Uh, my bot lane is kind of getting pushed in. Uh, they actually pinged he had no flash, right? I don't care. I really don't care. He has no flash. He's so dead. So, yeah. And then I think my mid laner calls for an ult. So I just, you know, I just straight up ult it. The Morgana black shields me for an assist. It's okay. It's just the kills with less XP, but talent right, you know. And then finally, since we have mid prowl and we have bot prowl because we just killed both of them. We get Bouncing Dragon for free. Uh, Nunu, what has he been doing? Farming Chicken, still level 4. After this, you know, I still got some assisted kills, but it's not enough to get level 7. Um, but yeah, with that being said, my my camps have spawned, and you can see they're both be spawning, so I'm going to do the path where I get all of it, and I'm going to do two, camp, two camps at once. I don't have my E, because I need mana, right? But I'm going to do two camps at once, because... Honestly, I don't care of my hit point. I have Ravnus Hunter stacks. I will be straight up chilling. And yeah, I have Ravnus Hunter stacks. Now I'm level 7. Nunu, you are level 5. I think he did crab. I mean, I couldn't do it, right? It doesn't matter. That crab's useless. I mean, if I could get it, I would, right? But it's just not in my path. I can't do it. So I have to do this. Ooh, I'm dying a little. But yeah, um, while he's trying to spam gank, worthless, patch 10.8, patch 10.8, worthless, it is better than farm. While he is trying to gank, I am doing my camps, not really caring, and he 2v1s and lives. The Nunu and, he tried, the Nunu tried to gank a Kled who has MR, I think he has armor, yeah, he has MR, and these guys are, you know, double MR. Or sorry, yeah, double magic damage. So it's pretty useless. They have no damage to... Okay, this guy sucks. But yeah, they have no damage for the... Clad. He can just remount. So it's a really bad gank. The only lane he has to gank is mid, and that's hard. It's a Talon. He can also gank bot, but it's also super hard, right? It's a Morgana. So essentially, this is a free game for me. I don't opt in to go gank into his jungle. Because, or sorry, invade his jungle because my mid laner back and my top laner died. So like, I have nothing to do yet again. And this is the point where I'm just gonna play for Rift. My my top's responding, my mid is responding. I don't know if these camps are up, right? I, I'm not too sure. It's just spectator stuff. Um, my Grop would be spawning, but at the same time, I'm gonna stop at his back here. He is not here, but you can see he actually walked back and we actually wasted eight seconds, maybe five seconds of his time. And that could be a wave. Like, look, he's going to miss this wave. Eh, he probably already would have, but yeah. Um, I forgot why this was awarded. We just know. Look at this pushing wave. He has to walk up or else it's fucked. And finally... Yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Although, a little sloppy. What can I say? A little sloppy. A little, 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 little sloppy. But, doesn't matter. The wave is pushing. He's dead. With that being said, my camps have spawned. I'm pinging this super hard because I don't want to die again. So, yeah. Um, he stays, by the way. But, yeah. It doesn't matter. This is not matter. Although, Maokai probably has CP. Oh, this is what happens. I didn't know Thresh was roaming. And, you know, like I said, I had nothing to do in the map. So, that's why I kind of, like, was around here. I wanted to do Rift. We had three prior, or two prior lanes. Uh, I could have done Gromp Wolves Wraiths into this path again, but like, you can honestly do that. But I want to play for an objective because I'm super strong. 
And when you're super strong, you can contest objectives. Also, this guy caught up on levels, but I'm still, like, almost level ahead of him. But at this point, I'm gonna die. I don't care. You get the shutdown. It's good that Nunu gets it. I get this guy shutdown, I think. Yep. And two for two is not bad. If we give Nunu shutdown, it's okay. We didn't expect that the Thresh would roam. So, yeah, at this point, the Morgana is too late for this. This Kled tries to do a hero play, but he gets hooked. And it sucks that the Rift gets burnt out, but honestly, it doesn't matter. Hey, who took my Krom? I think he did. But yeah, the Morgana should either dive bot or match the Thresh room at the same time. But since it was too late and we didn't know, um, she kind of did nothing and kind of waddled around. With that being said, I am now spawning. I am now going to do my camps yet again in the same path that I did every time they were up. Down to up. Down to up. I am now 90 CS above this new new. Okay, I'm 40 CS, whatever. But now I start pathing here. I don't know why. I forgot why. Oh yeah! <laughs> I said, fuck it, I think I wanted this jungle. I didn't care. Wait, what? Why did I go here? I didn't spot it. Oh, I just instinctively thought, like, it was whatever. Um, with that being said, I didn't path into my bones, and I'm just actually surprised, but I think I know why. It's because I'm now playing for objectives. I'm super strong. Look at my items. Oh my god. Do I have R? No, I don't. But yeah, it's time to set up for dragon. It's time to get some prio. Honestly, me here? I think I'm wasting a little bit of time. Maybe I could have done golems, but it is spawning, so no, I I, I want to get vision on everything. Clint waste is all. Actually, no, he gets a flash, that's fine. Um, and right here, he does catch a Nunu. He, we get the flash or something. And eh, can't commit. Just gonna do some camps. And on the way back, we just get out, that's fine. Get the camp. Can they contest? No, not really. To be honest, I'm really strong. And this Kled is going to remount because of the dragon. But yeah. Easy peasy. I'm just zoning. And finally, hello camps. Although, they are not responding in the right way due to some uh, circumstances. And sometimes I just kind of go stupid mode. Where I like, I fuck up my pathing. But if I had better pathing... What the hell? Yeah, if I had better pathing and like predict it a little bit better. If I had better pathing, I could have made my camp spawn at the same time and route top, but because I kind of screwed up. Oh, it doesn't matter that I screw up. I was doing something in every moment, so <laughs> the wolves spawn and my rays are spawning. And yeah, they're spawning. I'm the highest level in the game. Um, I have not taxed anyone. I didn't tax anyone this game except for that one time. And you see just me just doing jungle camps. Not getting too much assisted kills. We're, we're in fact past level 9 or level 7 or 8. I don't remember what it was. But the assisted ba penalty doesn't work anymore. So now leveling or killing champions gives us really good XP. And at this point, honestly I probably should path top and try and kill Maokai. They get some platings or something. Instead, I'm kind of greedy and I want some uh, money. Actually, no, this guy's free. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I should have packed top and I don't know if we could dive him, but probably it is a Kled. But maybe he's too tanky. Well, we don't know. We get some platings down here, though. And this is the only thing I attack. I'm level 11, highest level in the game. Feels good, man. Karthus OP champion. And yeah. Now I'm just looking for camps. I don't like diving though, but maybe I should have dove top lane. Finally, there's some action coming bot lane, and I fuck up these camps. And I was gonna go bot, but yeah. I'm just scared about this bush, right? Right? Like, I don't know where their camps are, but I could probably 2v1 them. Especially if my Talon's here, but he did back, so I'm a little scared. That's one thing I suck at, is I'm not confident 1v2ing. I'm usually always super consistent in doing um, the safe thing, which means I keep my bounty, my 200 gold bounty. 
Yeah, I'm up 50 CS. This guy is... I don't know what they're doing. They're kind of trolling. But I am rooted. Oh yeah, I fucking troll too. Whatever. Do I alt here? Yeah, I do. My talent gets a kill. I get assist here. I did fuck up here, by the way. Just positioning error. I thought we could kill them all, but nah. Oh. 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 Oh, he's so dead. Oh, he almost died. Thank you. <sighs> and now Karthus is finally back alive. He is happy, ready to roll, level 11, and... Yep. Time to do my path. Time to do my path. I don't care about golems. I don't care about golems, but I am being contested. I don't know who's around here, so I don't play for this. Oh, but I play for the Rift Herald. Walk into our vision, I don't mind. Um, but I don't want to walk into their vision, or without vision, because I'm kind of... Well, I, I don't have a bounty anymore, but I don't want to... I don't want to fight if um, I'm the one face-checking and my team's not there to back me up. It's better to always fight in vision. So we get this Rift Herald for free, whatever. Maybe I could have got some caps here, but my, but my Morgana has to walk in first. I don't ping her because I don't know. I'm too lazy to tell my support what to do. But essentially, if your support does get focused and when she face checks and you're still alive, you can do a lot of damage because they're not focusing you or CCing you, right? They're focusing the Morgana, so you can do a bunch of damage if you're the damage dealer. But if you're frontlining, you can't do damage. But yeah, contesting every dragon. He's snowballing in. Now look what I do here. Look what I do here. Does it look like I care about this Nunu? I do not. I am trying to zone their damage dealers. He's trying to go for me. I don't really care. Um, but you can see that my team can definitely focus him already, right? I'm trying to focus the Lucian. This Maokai doesn't do damage to me. But their damage dealers, Lucian and Kaisa, are the people who want to do damage. So look at this. I ignore the Maokai. Sure, my Kogma and my Talon can focus him, but while they're busy with the tanks who don't really do that much damage, they're just zero damage. Maokai does some damage. I will try and focus the back line as my back line will just peel while I kind of zone them with Qs. So they can't walk up. It's kind of like zoning, um... What's that champ? It's like a champion that, like... Oh, MF zoning out, you know? The zoning else, kind of like that. But yeah, my camps are back up. Time to do the route. I kind of goofed my goals, I guess. No, I didn't. I'm stupid. Almost did. But yeah, now I'm level 13. New to level 10. I'm the highest level in the game somehow. I really don't care about this. I really don't. I'm doing my farm route. And I do have R. If the crab is coming, and this is the only thing I tax. Oh! Jokes. I get a double kill. Actually, let's see what happened. Instant replay time. What happens, actually? Oh. How did I kill Lucian? Oh. He's one of the uh... Yeah, whatever. And then now I'm level 14, and... Yeah, the, the the penalties don't work anymore, right? The assisted stuff. They are low levels I'm, I'm farming XP off, but... I'm just saying is... This is how you become a super beast in the jungle now. Remember the times where the junglers got really power fed and like level 16 before anyone else? This is almost the same thing that's happening. Junglers can now finally be the same level as solo laners. In fact, they can be two levels up instead of being, well, honestly, a few patches ago, I think, I would be level 10. And I would not be matching my solo laners at all. But now I can be level 14. 
But also, I was kind of funneling myself. Only about like three waves or so. But yeah. With that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Thank you for watching. And yeah, make sure to subscribe, like, and all that good stuff if you guys enjoyed this comment, this content. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.